Hey guys, I'm sorry. This is part two of the video. My camera cut out when I was describing everything. Everything is cold. I have the mixture of cream of celery, sour cream, the evaporated milk, and I did put the seasonings in here. And then I'm just going to add the tuna and all that stuff. I might have to add a little bit more chives. And this is just dry tri um, chives. You could put fresh chives if you have it. Or optional. You don't even have to do that. You can put parsley. And here's a little bit more garlic salt. And then mix that all up. I'm going to put it last with all the cheeses. Okay guys, I drained it, all the egg noodles. So the whole big pan is filled right here with egg noodles. And then I have the sauce there. I open up the four big packs of the sweet and spicy tuna. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a lot of this Mexican different cheeses mixed in. You could do like half of the bag or whatever if you want to. And I saved half of the bag, and then I'm going to add all this Italian cheeses with the cream cheese in it. It's going to be super delicious. You can add any cheese you want to. Like I said, you don't even have to do all this cheese. You can just stick to one or two flavors. It's whatever you like. So, like I said, I have the tuna fish, all the cheeses, and everything. So what I'm going to do now is add this sauce that I made, the cream of celery, Sour cream. Sorry guys, it's hard to record with one hand. So it looks like this. Oh my God, it's so delicious already. So I'm just gonna mix all the tuna, the egg noodles, the cream sauce mixture, everything in here real good. Looks like that. And you can see how the egg noodles come out perfect. They're not like different like the other Dollar Tree egg noodles. These are the name brand ones. And I prefer to stick with Campbell's um, cream of celery soup or chicken soup, stuff like that, because um, their flavors are really good. I tried the Walmart one before. It's very salty. It was horrible. I would never buy that again. And then the Family Dollar one, it has like a lemony taste to it. It's really disgusting. So I always stick with the Campbell's kind when I do recipes. So give this a good, 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 good mixture. Stir really, really good. Make sure all the tuna is mixed in and all this stuff. This is a really big pan. Because my kids love to eat. And my husband, he's a vulture when it comes to delicious food. Oh my God, it looks so good already. Now what you do is you add more of the cheese on top. This is very little because I'm going to save some for the topping. Just very little. And a little bit more of the Mexican. Sprinkle that all over. This is way better when you make it homemade than when you're buying the like tuna helper or the box foods they're not that good it always has the same weird taste um i don't know it's better to make it homemade so give this a good stir sorry guys about the view the smoke from the noodles all right so i'm gonna mix this all up top it with more cheese put it in the oven and then when i'm done what you do is you can add your crispy onions on the top for a good delicious crunch and there you go you have your delicious homemade tuna casserole so anyway guys I'm going to top it right now throw this in the oven 350 for at least 25 minutes until it's really crunchy and um brown, light brown on the top and the cheese melts and everything's cooked through and it's so delicious and you have homemade tuna casserole so anyway thanks for watching this video on part two and stay tuned for more videos I'll be doing more soon as always have a good day bye